is this thing on? My name is Van der Buchert, and this is Finding Frequency. What a frustrating day. First world problems was the topic of the day. Why am I saying that? My internet connection was down. And I'm not talking about just kicking out a cable or bumping over a router. I was off for probably three hours. And it was super frustrating because the company that I pay every month was just offline completely. I actually thought they had a Russian cyber attack. But, uh, and it's strange how these things play out because you must remember in my brain, I'm always thinking about this customer experience, experience thing, and how you can build better relationships with clients. Now, I am not stupid. I understand scale. I understand that you can't, as a big organization, be super individualistic and saying, hey, Sorry, Vanner, this is, like, really hectic. Of course not. But the thing is, simple things start kicking in when you have big problems. And what was strange for me today is that, first of all, the call center was down. There was no way to get through. You get the automated voice message explaining to you that they can't get through. So point number one, why can't they use that voice message and say, listen, guys, We have a big problem. Please help us by being patient. We are doing X, Y, and Z to sort out the problem. Second one, went to the website, trying to log into my client portal. But even on the website, huge promotional area, big things, all kinds of faces smiling, high-fiving, families being happy. Not a big red block saying, hey, customer, maybe potential customers. We have a problem, but this is how we are handling this problem. Then I went to social media because I thought, hmm, they must have some social profiles. Ended up finding their Facebook page. And right at the top, because in Poland and I think most of Europe, the internet provider is also the people who provide you with your TV watching uh, abilities. Huge post at the top of the Facebook page with some kind of action film. It's brilliant. Also, the funny thing to see is at the bottom of this action film, all the comments, all the people taking down this company, asking, why are you showing us this crap when we can't even connect to anything? I, of course, also sent a few stinky messages. I was really disappointed. And I think in that, there's all this, also this huge, huge, huge opportunity. I sit in many meetings the whole week, listening to people and even on LinkedIn, whatever, you're seeing people talking about artificial intelligence and robotics and all this stuff. You know what? A nicely worded voicemail message, a bit of copy on your website, because that's what websites are actually for. It's not really to plaster all kinds of BS on it and pictures. You can actually communicate to people. You can actually avert all these problems. Also, I want to point out, because I sound like a little bit of a crybaby, it was a huge outage. I mean, I haven't even, I mean, I've experienced power failure in South Africa, but never internet outage like this. This was insane. Huge pieces of Warsaw out, gone, switched off. Um, Cost me to use my mobile data. But it's a small thing. And I, for me, the frustration is not so much the lost time, lost productivity, because it really did cost me a lot of productivity today. But just this small thing that could have helped, you know, ease the pain. And there's a learning in that. It's like, just be clear. Give people a bit of an update. Communicate, you know. What is the extraordinary of the day? Well, a few. There was a few, actually. Managed to go online. First of all, have a phone call with a very dear friend of mine from South Africa who now lives in uh, France. Uh, She's doing great. Um, I can hear she's got purpose. Everything is going like a Boeing. Like she, maybe not like a Boeing. That's a bad one these days. But uh, she's really rocking and rolling. And then also talking about purpose. uh, Spent some time with my friends from Canada. So Sean and Tamara, who I had on my live stream recently, invited me to one of their workshops. A lady uh, from Netherlands actually hosted it. She has a tool that helps you figure out your purpose. And uh, I always kind of walk into these things, even though I'm a bit geeky about these tools, with like question marks all over my brain box. But once going through it and playing with these little virtual cards... 
man, that was interesting. There is definitely something in the whole world of gameplay and how the, this, I mean, so what I actually did is I, I used the cards to figure out the purpose of some of the work that I'm doing. And I feel much better. I think it's going to work. I think it aligns. So really effective. And I'm stoked that I could, could have been part of that. So that was a great experience. And then, uh, yeah, I have to do some work still. Uh, the night is young. The night is young. So I'm going to go and do a webinar now for a client and then uh, spend some time with the four-year-old. What more can I say? Life's good, even if you don't have internet. Thanks for listening.